In this video, I am going to show you how Go High Level and Chat GPT AI works. If you are already in the marketing industry, uh, you should know the hype of Go High Level AI Booking Bot and Chat GPT. So, how it basically works Chat GPT take over the conversation of your prospects and uh, it's end up with the appointments. Uh, I already set up this amazing uh, Chat GPT and Go High Level combination for a lot of my clients and get amazing reviews from them. I have created this uh, mind map to give you better understanding about go high level and chat gpt so in the first uh, from the first like from the left side you can see all of the sources we have let's say we are getting leads from sales funnel leads we are getting from uh, we are getting facebook lead where we have uh, ppc leads and uh, we we have all, we are already have some existing contacts so what we are doing we are adding them in our activating workflow and sending them first follow-up message one so once they receive the first message they will when they replied we will send that replied uh, reply uh, they are replied to as a like through webhook to uh, to chat gpt and on chat gpt we have trained chat gpt with a specific prompt and uh, so chat gpt what uh, chat gpt do chat gpt do some processing and uh, according to that prompt chat gpt send uh, uh, send a response back uh, so like we can display that response to ghl so in this way like we can do conversations uh, between uh, our prospect lead and uh, between our uh, like uh, board so board will handle them and through ghl ai book, uh, booking board we will book the appointment so this is how like it works so let me explain it in detail now okay let's start with the uh, chat i'm going to show you how chat gpt works uh, with like leads and how chat gpt uh, take over the conversation with leads and uh, ask them qualified questions and book the appointment with go high level uh, ai booking board so let's see so he here we have a chat this is a like, sample chat i uh, tested uh, chat gpt like i i created this sample uh, because i i just want to show you guys like how it works so when we got a new lead chat gpt sent them first message and after that like a read reply hello my name uh, Heather and can you help me so basically I want to explain like uh, uh, I set my prompt uh, to act as a uh, act as a assistant to the patients uh, for a healthcare so I named uh, healthcare uh, clinic like guru healthcare and uh, and let's see like how like chat GPT handling those patients so ChatGPT said like hi I'm hi I'm Ashley. So Ashley is basically the bot name. I said the bot name actually, but you can set it anything, you know. So from Guru Healthcare, how can I assist you today? Are you interested in healthcare consultation? So like a lead said like I want to book appointment. So absolutely had this. So I'm asking like some qualified questions here. So you can see. Uh, I just need to ask you for uh, qualifying uh, qualifying questions about our services. Sure. So let's start. So we ask the first question here, and uh, the person, the patient replied. Then we ask the next question here. Please provide our view of your medical history. Uh, the person answered with that. Uh, then, like chat, uh, we ask the third questions, and uh, the person replied. And then, like. Uh, uh, I I just ask like are you there and uh, like a patient replied are you there and then like chat GPT replied uh, I'm here like shall we uh, shall we proceed with setting up an appointment for you so person said yes so from here uh, great to book the appointment uh, I need few more details from you could you please provide appointment so he said like uh, this time but uh, it seems like a misunderstanding so at that time i did not uh, assign a keyword like for now like i set a keyword when they uh, when we are on that appointment stage uh, when they ask for appointment or when we are on appointment stage or uh, at when we, when they replied with something appointment uh, chat gpt so our um, go high level ai board will be activate here at this point so you can see like 
Heather to book an appointment I need few more details so we, we give a date and uh, can you double check with appointment so at that time I said like appointment was not a keyword so I set the appointment trigger in the chat uh, go high level AI board and then it's replied like what day works best for you so it's said like uh, chat GPT replied like uh, so you know it's like uh, go high level AI board taking over the conversations so go high level AI board gives the some give some availability so I selected a time and yes please and once it's said uh, reply like yes please so what happened at this point so chat GPT uh, book the appointment uh, sorry a go high level AI board box the appointments so this is how it works basically so now we'll see how we can uh, set the automations for that and how we can set the um, Zapier uh, uh, to do perform perform this type of uh, automations so basically uh, you can do that for any niche if you are in solar, if you are in any industry, in any niche, you can just uh, uh, set your prompt and train ChatGPT to reply to them. So I have automations here. So first one is for activating ChatGPT. Second one is deactivating. Then we have ChatGPT plus uh, AI bot, uh, go high level AI booking board combination. Then the last one is trigger to start bot. Uh, let's see third one. Okay, let's see how ChatGPT and Go High Level AI Booking Board works. So when customer replied, so what happened here? I I just set some values and update them and clear them, and then uh, we have a webhook, and this webhook uh, will goes in Zapier, and we have setting a second action there in Zapier uh, as ChatGPT. Uh, I will show you after that workflow and we have a second conditions here and this was about like i told you like we have a trigger like if appointment is not booked uh, it will book the appointment so ai booking board will send a first message i already showed you in my last video how this board works so that's uh, like how ChatGPT works let me show you the zapier thing now Okay, so let me explain like how that Zapier thing works. So when we uh, did a webhook there, uh, what happened then? Uh, it will like uh, we will set a trigger at catch hook and uh, we will paste that catch hook value in go high level and then when that value comes in, and when we have a value on that catch hook, what happened in uh, in Chat GPT? What basically we are doing here? We are just uh, assigning that custom value here. For user message and then we have memory key which is important as contact ID so we can remember that contact and uh, I'm just defining the assistant name here and then uh, I'm just uh, giving instruction to chat GPT bot like your name is Ashley you are uh, you work at a guru health care your company name located is this you you assist patients in healthcare you book appointments with them so you have to ask these uh, calling fine questions. So like I already defined the questions. So here are uh, like these are the uh, questions that ChatGPT asked from them. Uh, that's the third questions. And then the fourth step is like book the appointment. So once uh, ChatGPT includes like qualified appointment in the trigger or appointment, so it will uh, it will start running. And the temperature that I set here is 0.1 and uh, what happening here so once uh, like ChatGPT have a reply for the lead so we will uh, set a uh, I already created some custom values there so uh, like we will reply we will send this reply uh, through a workflow to contact again so this is how it works I hope it makes sense if you have any further question about this and if you want to learn it in detail uh, I will like I can create a more explanation video uh, like how everything works with ChatGPT and if you did not watch my last video about uh, go high level AI booking board uh, without ChatGPT and Zapier you can watch it there and uh, subscribe my channel and uh, uh, also click on the bell icon. Thank you so much. Have a nice day.